Senate Republican Jim Bunnings continuing to filibuster a key spending bill to extend unemployment benefits for hundreds of thousands of American workers. The block bill also affects several governmental agencies, rural television customers and doctors receiving Medicare payments. At the same time, Senate Banking Committee Chair Christopher Dodd has abandoned an idea proposed by President Obama and favored by consumer groups to create an independent consumer financial protection agency to protect consumers against abuses and mortgages, credit cards and other forms of lending. Dodd is seeking support from fellow Democrats for a Republican proposal now to create a new agency that would be housed within the Federal Reserve. The proposal to house the new agency within the Fed follows an earlier idea of placing it within the Treasury Department. The Fed has had consumer protection laws on its books for years, but failed to enforce them in the period leading up to the financial crisis. According to The Washington Post, the new proposal from Dodd would grant the agency independent funding and a presidentially appointed director, but it would not give the agency authority to enforce those rules. For more on this and other issues, we're joined by longtime consumer advocate, corporate critic and former presidential candidate Ralph Nader. He's joining us on the line from his home in Connecticut. Ralph Nader, we welcome you to Democracy Now! I wanted you to address these two issues. On the one hand, you've got the Republican filibuster that could throw hundreds of thousands of people off of their unemployment benefits, as well as COBRA. And you have Chris Dodd backing off of this independent consumer protection agency? Well, it's just the latest manifestation of uh, the graveyard in Congress known as the U.S. Senate. There are over 100 bills, many of them fairly good, that the House of Representatives have passed, including financial regulation, uh, that uh, are buried in the Senate. And the Senate rules allow one senator, like Senator Jim Bunning, who's not running for re-election, so he doesn't have to worry about uh, adverse feedback from Kentucky, uh, to block um, disbursements for unemployed people, unemployment uh, compensation, and also opens the door to the uh, banking lobby, uh, which, as Senator Durbin of Illinois said a few weeks ago, run the place. That's what his words. He said, uh, the banks run the place. Now, the issue of this proposal that has changed, morphed, uh, uh, in your fellow Connecticut, uh, Senator uh, Dodd, what he has been proposing along the way and what's happened now. Well, he's not running for re-election, so we can't, we can't put much pressure on him uh, in Connecticut. Uh, he has historically been very tied to the banks uh, and taken a lot of money from Wall Street, proudly so in his uh, words, uh, for years. Uh, now he's free. Uh, he's free to do the right thing, but he's outnumbered by his own committee, uh, including Democrats on his committee, like Senator Johnson uh, from uh, South Dakota. Uh, so he's trapped in that way. But you see, these senators, Amy, they don't go to the people. They don't have news conferences, travel around the country, and tie into the massive public sentiment against these giant bailed-out banks and how they are defrauding people in all kinds of uh, financial instruments. And that's uh, really the puzzling aspect of some of the, quote, good senators in the Senate. They still play the inside game and whine and groan to us. Uh, as, as how they can't get anything done. Uh, the proposals that are now being floated by Senator Dodd represent a massive surrender, uh, even compared to the uh, House bill, which has already passed and set up an independent consumer regulatory agency. Uh, this, this so-called uh, consumer protection unit that's being proposed inside the Federal Reserve uh, is, is like putting a snowball in hell. I mean, it just it's so absurd, it's beyond sad. Uh, it, it's so uh, chatteled and surrounded by chains and appeals and internal vetoes uh, before even the banks have to go uh, after any proposals to deal with payday loans and mortgage uh, deed deceptions and uh, credit card abuses. So we need to we need a whole new paradigm here, and uh, that that would be that the districts in the in, uh, throughout the country, the 435 districts uh, representing the House of Representatives, have got to be organized 
Uh, there's huge money that organizes corporations to turn Washington, D.C. into corporate-occupied territory. There's almost no money uh, to organize tens of millions of uh, angry or deceived or defrauded uh, or desperate people in this country. So I'm going to make a specific proposal. There are a number of enlightened, advanced-age billionaires in this country uh, who've got to take uh, a, a portion of their fortune, like Jerome Kohlberg is an advocate for clean elections, he retired some years ago from the giant mergers and acquisition firm, uh, Kohlberg Kravis, um, and put about $250 million into organizing every congressional district, 2,000 people in a district, two full-time organizers per district, zero in on the Senate uh, and the House, and get these legislations through, including a, a good energy bill, a good single-payer bill, and, of course, financial regulation after to the greatest corporate crime and speculation uh, uh, move uh, wave in our history. So we have to talk about these solutions. Everybody's been documenting the uh, corruption of the Senate, the paralysis of the Senate, the indentured status of the Congress to corporate power. We now have to move to the next stage and try to persuade uh, Ted Turner or Warren Buffett or Jerome Kohlberg or B William Gates or somebody uh, to, to organize the people back home to take control of their Congress. We've got the solutions. We've got the public sentiment, as Abraham Lincoln once said, you can do anything with public sentiment. We don't have the organized people and the voters uh, focusing uh, on their senators and representatives. Uh, Ralph Nader, there are a number of consumer advocates, along with New York Times columnist Paul Krugman, who have told Senator Dodd, don't give up the fight yet to make this an independent agency. Um, why do you think he is? And to be clear, he's giving up not because Republicans are opposed, is this right, but because fellow Democrats are as well. Well, that's right. He's got to go around the country and really uh, barnstorm with others. And uh, He's very articulate. Uh, he can make the case for a strong uh, consumer protection bill headed by Elizabeth Warren, who conceived the idea, the Harvard Law professor, who's one of the freshest and most impressive voices uh, uh, in Washington on this subject. Uh, but they don't do that. They just, uh, you know, get up in the morning, have their coffee, go to the Congress, uh, wallow in the Senate. Senate club uh, and say, oh, I don't even have uh, members of my Democratic uh, committee uh, in the banking committee on my side. Well, has he ever called in all the consumer groups and the labor groups and the neighborhood groups uh, uh, to Washington? They would come. In other words, you've got to beat the drums for progressive, decent policies to hold the rule of law over these uh, rampant and aggressive and uh, avaricious banking institutions. We haven't learned to think. They've been bailed out. They've drained and looted um, trillions of dollars of pension money and other savers' money. Uh, the collapse in 2008. They go to Washington. They get bailed out by the taxpayers. Uh, millions of workers lose their jobs. And you think they'd be remorseful? Uh, they're as arrogant as ever to control Washington and turn it against its own people. The only way that can be turned around is to organize the districts back home.